Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. This is Soup, as always. In the last episode, we got uh, did some got some odd jobs in uh, in Sandover Village. Uh, took care of some cattle and started exploring the the Forbidden Jungle. In this episode, we're going to continue exploring the Forbidden Jungle by jumping up. Wrecking shit. Let's get up on that machine and break the mirror diverting the precursor beam. Alright, let's see. Wanna be careful, don't know what enemies are around. Momentum works weird on elevators in this game. You can actually hit and actually gain blue eco charge and The jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with him. Open that up real quick and get ourselves a power cell. This is the power cell. I always miss this power cell. Whenever I play this game, I always miss that one power cell. So I'm glad I got it this time. We will do the beams later. Uh oh. Causing things to happen. Make a quick little detour. Phase through things. Make a copy of getting we're getting health back. And do some basic platforming. why they include the blue, that blue eco there because you can literally just do that. And this is cool. Maybe this will be easier without the uh, Blue Eco speed boost. Never had trouble with that before, so. Call me, paint me disappointed in myself. But here we can see 
kinds of stuff. See, you can actually see Samos's hut over there, Misty Island, and way out there is Geyser Rock. But we're all the way up here. Let's push the button. Now there is fall damage, and I think if you jump in a particular way, hey. you can. Uh, Jack. Um. Okay, bug, aliport. Never had that happen before. I'm glad the game. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Well, that happened. I guess that's, uh, one thing that's good. One thing that's good about that is I get my health back, so there's that. Just getting all the precursor orbs. But <laughs> I don't even know. Game glitched. Never had that happen before, so that's fun. Where we get a power cell and Wow, did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. Okay. Now we have blue eco. Actually, use this washer and get some blue, get some uh, power cells. Or not power cells, some uh, precursor ores. And say hello to our first boss. I don't know his name. I don't know his name, and honestly, I don't think I ever will learn how. If I remember, I will have it on screen. He's not too difficult, just, uh,. Punch the guy that he uh, shoots out. Don't hit them when they're spiky. Don't get within the ring. And he goes into this phase and he should be dead. Now, one thing that's cool. You can actually get precursor orbs out of him. Then this does count. Those precursor orbs, you need those for 100%, so. Don't not get those because reasons, but it, it's just funny because squish, 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 squish. But anyway, blue eco and jump. And one thing is, all of those tentacles that were around were all his, and now they're all dead. So you don't have to worry about those anymore. Let's 
So, generally it's a good idea, just to help with mobility, to take care of that guy as soon as you can, when you enter the Forbidden Jungle. Oh, and I got uh, almost full life. The uh, counter says, uh, the counter basically makes you think like you have three units of life. You can actually have four. Because if you have, um, if you have 50, uh, if you have a count of 50, um, green eco, you will uh, automatically uh, will heal up. It'll basically count as a hit. So. Here. One thing to know is that rolling, that rolling jump is not an attack. Even though it can break boxes, I'm pretty sure it's not an attack. I kind of want to test that. Okay, well, I apparently don't know what I'm talking about, because that is very much an attack. So now, line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. we can line up the beams and start working our way through the jungle. Hey, we can follow the beam to find the next tower. The things in here, just, I, I get hit by them all the time, and I don't know why I don't. Platforming failed. Okay, apparently that didn't want to work. But, whatever. I love the victory animations. They're so good. Oh, shit! How did I not get hit there? Or there. quickly get these two. I'm missing 20? 20? I'm gonna have to do a sweep. Which I was hoping not to have to do, because I hate the Forbidden Jungle. Precursor or would I have it grabbed on? Don't think there's money there. If it is, I. Usually, sometimes this game doesn't work, but it is a PS2 title, so we can give it a little bit of. Uh, I think some of the uh, mirrors don't work as well. Fuck you, Pikmin. Oh, Cause me freaking anguish in my youth. Or 
almost done. No! There's full damage in this game. I think you can mitigate it with a well-timed spin. But you can only spin... You can't... I think you only get one spin per, uh... Time in the air, so... Seriously? That many uh, precursor orbs? There's some right here. That luckily that's not a spot that we have to go to. We're basically done now. Going here, we're in Sandover Village, Sentinel Beach. We have all the power cells. We have all the power cells in, um, or at least all the objectives cleared in the Forbidden Jungle, except for getting all the, uh, Precursor or which I guess I'm just gonna have to scrounge I'll cut and see where I find them. I believe I can visit 20 precursor orbs while I'm running around here. Hello? There we go. That would make, that would make the most sense. Having such a large concentration of, uh, precursor orbs just missing for no understandable reason. Just gotta make a mess. 
There we go. That was gonna bug me. Ugh. I should have been looking for that in the first place. That, that explained why there were so many, but none just like floating around loose. Wait, I don't remember that. I must never have had a problem with it before now, so. Oh, I'm not, I have no clue how long this episode's gonna be, and that's gonna bug me! Uh... We have a lot of power cells now. Not power, well, we do have a lot of power cells, but we have a lot of precursor orbs. Well, first, we have some things to do. First... <laughs> oh, what a wonderful sight! I thank you! The entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Sweaty hat cell away! And... So, uh, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! Yes. <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Dunk! Oh, yeah. It's a thing. Something I want to know. I've never, it's never been explained, and probably never will be explained. But why do people go after these power cells? I mean, I guess they're just like the form of currency, but why? The precursor metal is. You would think you would want to make stuff out of the precursor metal. I guess maybe just uh, so many origin? places to see and so little time. All right, whatever. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on. I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, tota, bye bye. Yay, British exploring stereotypes! But we look here, we actually have a map. It's a very crude map, but a map nonetheless. And more map. That's actually not in game maps, but maps of locations we will go to. Keep those in mind. He will just, this house will forever remain empty. And, like the fisherman said, we can now use his speedboat to go to Misty Island. Which we will do eventually. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. Yeah, that's the reason why you don't, uh, don't go too far. There's literally a cre there's literally something that will just eat you. But, anyway, we've now taken care of the Forbidden Jungle. And I'm gonna, it's probably gonna be short, but I'm gonna cut it here, and we, as we make our way to Sentinel Beach. 
thank everybody I want to thank everybody for watching and until next time goodbye <laughs>